VMware ransomware recovery. So you hear this a lot and today we will see why. Uh, my name is Vladimir Velikov and I'm a staff engineer at uh, the VCDR team uh, at VMware and I'm also a VMware code community coach. So yeah, usual disclaimer that anything I say is not binding to VMware in any way. So let's have a look at the VMware ransomware recovery, uh, how it's built and basically how, how it works. So on the left hand side, uh, you have the production side, let's say it's on-prem, although we support cloud, with your workloads. So these get replicated uh, onto, the v, uh, on, onto the VCDR service in the cloud. Uh, so you get a bunch of snapshots there. Um, and the first step you need uh, to take for your ransomware protection is to configure a suitable um, uh, retention period. So because of the way VCDR is built with the scale out uh, cloud file system, uh, these snapshots can be um, can be collected for a really long retention period. So you can select three to six months, for example, and this is really needed in the ransomware scenario because modern ransomware uh, is not showing up right away uh, very frequently. You would have it lurking in your system, like moving laterally, trying to uh, get through, through your network to get to other parts of your system, and only then uh, encryption would kick in. So you really need uh, old snapshots in certain scenarios. So let's say we select three to six months of retention. And then you wake up uh, one, so yeah, some of these are uh, infected, some of the workloads and also some of the snapshots one morning you wake up and uh, you have uh, big parts of your data are encrypted. So second step, you need to pick a snapshot uh, to recover from. And normally you would do this by hand, but uh, we have a, uh, a built-in anomaly detection mechanism. So these are like two charts which are showing um, uh, change rate and entropy rate. So based on that, you can figure out that, hey, the data between this and this snapshot changed significantly. So maybe I should take uh, an earlier snapshot. Uh, you will see that a bit later. So you make an informed decision about the recovery point and isolated reco recovery environment is provisioned for you in the cloud last thing you want to do is uh, when this disaster strikes, you uh, start figuring out what uh, recovery site I need to build, how do I isolate it so that uh, there is no reinfection. So this is done for you. And also because of the way uh, the scale out file system works, VMs are stored, uh, there is no restore. So VMs are stored in ready to mount mode. So we call this live mounting. So they are live mounted onto the IRE uh, in quarantine mode. So it means that no network is allowed. They cannot talk between each other. They cannot talk to the IRE. They cannot talk outside. Um, so at this stage, uh, there, there are some carbon black uh, vulnerability scanning, uh, also certain uh, file system checks. This is pretty standard stuff, but modern ransomware is very frequently fileless. So you won't catch too much this way. And that's why uh, VMware ransomware recovery has the behavioral analysis from Carbon Black. Uh, and what does it mean? It means that you can actually power on these VMs. You don't worry that they will infect anything because this is isolated environment. You run these scanners and they can raise alerts. Uh, they can tell you if there is something going on, if uh, there are like uh, the, the VM is trying to do some external calls, things like that. And you can also play with the isolation levels of the network so you can gradually add uh, like allow inbound connections, outbound connections, and so on. Um, and you can also manually inspect if there is anything suspicious with this. So uh, if you discover a suspicious activity and you are not fine with this snapshot, then 
you just go back to step two and uh, do it all over again. So this is pretty standard flow. You have to do this iteration anyway when you do ransomware recovery or disaster recovery. But the, the big thing about uh, the VMware ransomware recovery is that this iteration is very quick. So you have the anomaly detection, giving you the ability to quickly select the, the right snapshot or one which is likely to be, to be good. Very quick mounting of the VMs. IRE done for you so that you don't have to figure out uh, exactly in the most precious moments how to, how to do this. The security scanning and with the alerts. And then this way you can find your good uh, snap, uh, snapshot. But not only that, we also support uh, the uh, file restore. So you can, so let's say you discovered a good snapshot, but you are still losing some data. So in order to minimize this, you can actually use a different snapshot, pull the files from there, which are uh, kind of new and things you, you want to, to store, and create a, a, a curated, uh, uh, build a curated image. And once you're fine with this image, you can actually restore the VMs to the, protect, uh, to the protected site and uh, have uh, everything up and running uh, in a healthy state. And at this point, the IRE is decommissioned, so you practically pay only for the time uh, of uh, your recovery. Of course, there's also testing mode, so you can regularly run this flow to, to see how uh, to see that you can still perform it uh, correctly. So we don't have too much, too much time for demos. Uh, you can uh, reach out to me after the session if you want to see the demo, but here are a few screenshots. So this is the anomaly detection. Uh, so there is obviously something going on here, so that's why we take an earlier snapshot. You can label the snapshots. Uh, let's say, oh, I found that this is fine, this is, my market is verified, but let's try to find maybe a newer one if, uh, to, to, to get as much data as possible. And once I have a, a, a selected snapshot, I can pull from the, from the bad ones, I can pull individual files. And this is how uh, getting uh, individual files uh, works. So yeah, you just use a different snapshot, you're presented with the files and, and you add this to the curated image. And this is a screenshot of all the, the network uh, isolation levels, so you can play with them, you can go fully isolated, you can try opening up and, and see if something strange is going on and when you are fine with this, you, you can go ahead and open it completely. Now, what's new? Like the fundamentals are, are these, guided workflow, anomaly detection, and behavioral analysis. But on top of that, uh, in the last uh, two months, uh, we have some really cool features which are important. So the concurrent uh, multi-VM recovery means that you can have a whole team working together, having the same overview of uh, the recovery status of each VM. So you don't have to go one by one and have only one person doing this and keeping track of things, but you can have a whole team doing this and really uh, have, uh, get it quickly up and running. Uh, the other one, uh, run VMs in the cloud, so you, your business doesn't have to stop. Now you can actually run these VMs in production in the cloud while you're doing the recovery and all the analysis and checks uh, uh, and uh, yeah, your business doesn't have to suffer in the meantime. And th uh, the last two things are what was announced today. Intelligent threat detection. This is AI-based uh, module, which is part of uh, the ransomware recovery solution. This analyzes your snapshots, even offline, and checks if there is a ransomware even, even before encryption. So it can, it can tell you, hey, you 
you might be encrypted soon, so you can actually take precaution and, and scan and remove it quickly. And it would also help you after encryption to, to clean it up quicker. And last but not least, VMware Live Recovery. Um, yeah, you know, uh, at VMware, uh, we've been having a lot of DR products. So this is like a first step in converging those uh, DR products uh, uh, on in different aspects. So we are starting with billing and uh, like a unified management UI through which you can view your on-prem pairs, uh, uh, you can view your VCDR deployments and things like that. So these things are preview, so we hope to get them in soon. Now, uh, VMware Life Recovery is actually an intersection of many different products within VMware, which are not particularly new, but in combination, the, the combination is really powerful. So you get VMC on AWS with the IRE, uh, the firewall rules from NSXT, security scanning and behavioral analysis from Carbon Black and putting it all together through the VCDR. So this is, uh, this is like a, a combination of all these innovations into one, but uh, this doesn't mean that you have to buy each one separately. You get ransomware recovery and all the other pieces come in for you. And that's about it. So. Uh, if you want to see a demo of the ransomware recovery, just reach out to me after that, or if you have questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you.